Hi everybody! Um, it's been a while since I made this type of video. Only because Ratchet and Clank hasn't had a game in so long, and it makes me really excited. So, this might not be script, so I'm sorry if I mumble a little bit, but I do want to give my thoughts on this as you guys watch the speed paint, and I will put up screenshots and stuff, maybe. So anyways, I just want to share my thoughts on this because you guys have no idea how shaking like like how excited I am like it's really like like unless you count uh the reboot of the Ratchet and Clank game the first one um then well it's been technically four years no it's been four years since we had like a Ratchet and Clank game in general but it's been like probably six years since we continued the series and this makes me really excited because from what it looks like it looks like it takes place after into the nexus and i really really love that so what what do i think is going on uh, again like i said after the nexus maybe um it looks like something has been going on I don't know what I don't know exactly what because the game's not out yet but it looks really really cool and the fact that th this might just be me but I feel like nefarious might be the main villain from what it looks like but I don't really know if I want him to be the main villain I think I just want a new type of character to be a villain too how maybe maybe have like two villains or something Oh yeah, and another thing I want to mention was the pirate ship in the trailer. I want that kind of like looks really like like the ship from Quest for Booty, and I I just ah, I'm fangirling so much. I'm just so happy. Like when this came on live on the PlayStation PS5 announcement, you guys have no idea. It, that is, if you're not a Ratchet and Clank fan, but I really cried. I cried a lot as I was watching the trailer and it, it's it's just exciting because it seems too good to be true. St hell, it still feels like a dream right now. Like I still can't process how excited I am. And even though I might never get a PS5 because I don't have that kind of money, I might, well maybe I can try saving up. Commissions are open if you're interested. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's just exciting, and yeah, and a lot of you want to know my thoughts if you've been following my Twitter, you might have known that I am really loving the new Lombax character. She is so cute. Yes, I think it's a she, so don't judge me. And the reason why I know it's a she is because they actually did confirm it on Twitter that it was that she was a she, so yeah. Just, just a character, an unnamed character we don't know. She looks so cool. And my theory, from what a lot of people are saying, is that this could be a female version of Ratchet. At, at least I think so. Another thing I want to mention, I don't want to be this type of person to mention this, but I hope, I really hope she isn't there to be just a love interest. Because, well, not because of... <clears throat> I'm a fangirl of Ratchet or anything, but I really have a thing to where I don't like characters that are just there for love purposes, which, yeah, that's pretty much it. But, like, I really do love her design, though, and I, I just, <clears throat> I love her. I'm sorry. It's just amazing. Oh, my God. Not to mention all the fan art came right when the trailer came out, and it was just really funny. And, anyways... I I'm just hoping I see some old characters as well. I mean, I I kind of feel bad that Angela Cross is being forgotten for a bit because of this new Lombax o character. I was gonna say OC, what the hell? But anyways, th yeah, this game, oh, it looks amazing, and I just want to share my thoughts with you guys. And I really hope it, it is a good game because I do have my hopes high. And I, well, I should get my hopes high because Ratchet and Clink is a good series, you guys. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video and tell me what you think about the trailer and stuff. 
Anyways, uh, I'll see y'all next time. Bye!